Hello friends, this video on Algebra Part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let's see how do we solve these equations because we saw that we can evaluate expressions only if the value of the variable is given. Now when we are talking about equations, how do we solve these equations? Now solving an equation, what is the meaning of solving an equation basically? So values of variables for which left hand side is equal to right hand side are called solutions of the equation. Let's take an example. So let's say you have an equation y minus 2 is equal to 4 where these are two expressions which are equated. So how do we, what would be a solution of this equation? So any value of y for which left hand side is equal to right hand side. So what is left hand side in this case? So here left hand side is the algebraic expression on the left hand side. And here the right hand side is equal to all that you have on the right hand. That is 4. So left hand side is y minus 2 and right hand side is 4. So we have to find out the value of y for which this left hand side is equal to right hand side. So let us try with different values. So let's put y is equal to 3. So if we put y is equal to 3, what is left hand side? Left hand side is equal to 3 minus 2 which is 1. And what is right hand side? Right hand side is 4. Therefore left hand side is not equal to right hand side. Okay, let's try with some other value. Let's put y is equal to 4. So if we put y is equal to 4, then left hand side becomes 4 minus 2 which is equal to 2. And right hand side is 4. So again, left hand side is not equal to right hand side. Fine, let's try with some other number again. So let's put y is equal to 5. So in this case, what is left hand side? It becomes 5 minus 2 that is 3. But again, right hand side is 4. So again, left hand side is not equal to right hand side. Now let's try with another value of y. Let's try with 6. So this time LHS becomes 6 minus 2 which is 4 and right hand side is also 4. So now this time LHS is equal to RHS. That means y is equal to 6 is a solution for this equation. This is a solution for this particular equation. So not for all equation because again y is a variable. It will pick up different values in different equations. But for this particular equation that is y minus 2 equals to 4, y is equal to 6 is a solution. Because if you put the value of y as 6, then the left hand side is equal to right hand side for this equation. So this is what we understand by solution of an equation. Now, how do we exactly solve an equation? So let us talk about the trial and error method. So this is one very simple method of trying to solve an equation. However, it is important to remember that this is not a very practical method to solve equations. I'll tell you why. So for now, we have taken examples of three different equations and we will try to solve them by trial and error method. Trial and error. Trial means you keep trying with different values and you keep receiving errors Finally, you arrive at that value which is the solution for that equation. So you keep trying different different values and you are not sure which value will work out. So that is how you approach to solve the equation. Let's look at this first equation. n plus 12 is equal to 20. So you need a value of n such that n plus 12 is equal to 20. So you first try with n is equal to 0. Then what happens? You get LHS is equal to 12. So therefore this doesn't work because you want left hand side to be equal to right hand side and right hand side is 20. So left hand side should also be equal to 20. So n is equal to 2, 0 is not a solution. Let's try with n is equal to 1. So LHS becomes 13. So again 13 is not equal to 20. So this doesn't work. Let's try with n equals to 4. NHS becomes 16 which is again not equal to 20. So this also doesn't work. Let's try with n is equal to 5. So LHS becomes 17. Again, that's not equal to 20. So it doesn't work. Let's try with n is equal to 8. In that case, LHS becomes 20. And 20 is equal to right hand side, which is also 20. So therefore, n is equal to 8 is a solution for this equation. Now, when you look at this approach, this is a very uh, impractical and not a very smart approach to solve equations because first question is you do not know which numbers to try so you are just trying it out of a guess 
you do not know whether you should try start trying from zero or you should start let's assume that if the solution for an equation is n is equal to 56 so is it practical to check all the numbers from 0 to 55 no that's not practical so definitely this is not a practical method to solve equations however this is just the first step where we when we are just trying to solve an equation so let's say q by 2 is equal to 7 in this case also you would see that you keep trying with many values like q equal to 0 q equal to 1 q equal to 2 and so on and none of them work out so finally you see that q is equal to 14 is the value which is the solution for this equation so again in this case also it is not practical to try all the values from 0 to 13 take the third example p minus 5 is equal to plus 5 here also if you start trying from 1 2 3 and so on none of them work and finally p is equal to 10 is the solution for this equation so now the question is when this is not a practical method to solve equation so how do we practically solve it so which is a better method to solve it Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.